Hello guys, welcome back to another codingbad.com tutorial. Today we will be going over exercise logic 2 problem make bricks. The question states, we want to make a row of bricks that is goal inches long. We have a number of small bricks, 1 inch each, and big bricks, 5 inches each. Return true if it is possible to make the goal by choosing from the given bricks. This is a little harder than it looks and can be done without any loops. See also introduction to make bricks. So, um, basically, we want to be able to uh, create the goal length and exactly the goal length using the given small and big bricks. So, if we look at the examples here, um, the first example gives us uh, three small bricks and one big brick. So, we have three one-inch bricks to work with and one five-inch brick. Um, combining the two, so 3 times 1 plus 1 times 5, we actually get 8, so make bricks would return true. Um, the next example, uh, 3 small bricks and 1 big brick, again, that's the same thing as before, but because this only yields a maximum of 8, and the problem is giving us a goal of 9, the function would actually return false. Uh, finally, we're given three small bricks, two big bricks, and a goal of 10 inches. Um, in this case, we actually do not need to use the small bricks at all, because the two, two big bricks would actually combine to give us 10 inches total. And because the problem does not state that we need to use all of the bricks, um, we can actually just use the two big bricks. Um, so, although this problem may seem hard at first because it seems like you have to um, create an if statement for every single possible scenario, you just have to break down your problem into each component and then continue on from there. So, the first thing we can check is, can we even create the goal using the small and big bricks? So, in like in this case, um, no matter how you arrange it, because the maximum length of the bricks that you're given is simply not enough to reach the goal, you can just automatically return false. So if the big, the number of big bricks uh, times five, because each big brick is five inches long, plus the number of small bricks, and you can say times one because each small brick is one inch long, but that just yields the same thing, um, is less than the goal, so there's not enough, then automatically you can return false. Next, we want to check, are there enough small bricks? Um, so, uh, there is a function in Python called modulus, which basically yields the remainder when you divide something. So for instance, um, if we do modulus 5, so 8 modulus 5 would yield 3, because 8 divided by 5 would have a remainder of 3. Uh, 9 modulus 5 would yield um, 4, because 9 divided by 5 equals 4. And 10 mod 5 would actually yield 0, because uh, 10 divided by 5 equals 2, and 5 goes into 10 perfectly. So why are we using mod? So um, when we're creating the bricks, we actually want to um, use up all the big bricks first and then fill up the remainder using the small bricks. So we're basically checking to see once we've used up all the big bricks, are there enough small bricks to fill up that little remainder at the end? So if goal mod 5, so that's basically saying once we've used up all of the big bricks, um, uh, we're checking to see what the remainder is. 
is it greater than small? So, are there not enough small bricks to fill up that remainder? If that is so, then we return false. Now, if it passes all these conditions, it should return true. And then if we save, compile, and run, we get all correct.